When you first start the Elder Scrolls Online, it is hard to get around. If you have a horse, it is very slow. Running is not a viable op option for going long distances. Your map will look like this. No way shrines, no cities, no dolomans, no reference points to get around. In this video, we're going to see how other modes of transportation that the Elder Scrolls Online offers. If you follow the guide, you unlock the capital cities of each faction in a matter of minutes. Then from there, you can branch out to each region of the faction. In about an hour, it is possible to have a way shrine unlocked in every region of the map, making traveling much faster and finding resources much less time consuming. Alright guys, so we are come out uh, at the beginning of the game. Most everyone is coming out in Northern Elsewhere. Okay, and we want to get to Deshaun, because that's where everybody is. That's where the Plaza of the Gods is. That's where most of the good guild traders are. That's where we want to go. So by hitting select, I open my map, and I can see that there is a way shrine right here, not very far from me, that I'm going to run to. We're going to run to that way shrine. Take us just a second here. Yeah, as you can see, these are the new guys coming out. So we're going to run over here to the way shrine. And we're going to go to the first major city that we find, okay? And that is probably going to be Rimen, okay? And Rimen is right over here on the corner, okay? Now, all these other way shrines that you see here are not going to be active on your map. You won't be able to get to them. You actually have to literally run to them and activate them, okay? So I'm going to... Rimen should already be activated. So we're going to come right here to Rimen. All right, now we're in Rimen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my map, hitting, I guess, the select button, the button with the two little windows on it. And I'm going to look around the map. Do I see a port? No, there's no port here. So, But I do know that Rimen has caravans. Okay, there are two caravans here. Okay, and we're going to use this caravan here. Okay, can't see it because I have my quest is blocking it. But we're going to go right here to this caravan. Okay, so I select it on my map but it's right over here on the side. Okay, once we get here, we're gonna talk to the navigator. And the navigator is gonna tell us where he can take us, okay? So we can go directly to Mournhold, okay? That's where we wanna go. But we're gonna go to Elden Root first, okay? So let's go to Elden Root. All right, so we've arrived in Elden Root. The first thing that you wanna do every time you take a caravan, navigator, boat, anything, is you want to activate the Way Shrine closest to you. So I know that the Elden Root Way Shrine is right up here. Okay, I'm not going to activate it because it's already been activated, but it's right there. Just run up to it, touch it, if it's not activated already on your map. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is in this area where we just came out, there are, let's see, there's what, one, two, three, four, five caravans. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, Selendaluin. Okay, because we're gonna we want to go to Deshaun. Okay, so we just need to look and see which one goes, which one that is. Okay, there she is right here. So we're gonna select her, we can find her. and she gives you some options uh, within the Aldemiri Dominion. Okay, so that'll take me to Green Shade or Oradon, or we can go to Deshaun or Stormhaven. Okay, we're gonna go to Deshaun. Okay. All right, now that we're in Deshaun, we need to always make sure that we've got the way shrine activated okay and the way shrine for deshaun is all the way over here or for mournhold sorry is right here okay this is where we need to go so run across pick it up and then come back over here to the port now there are some caravans here okay so this one will take us to Senshal, and i thought there was one more but maybe not okay so now i come back to where i was but i decided now i want to go to let's say uh way rest okay so we need to find the same, or we need to find a boss when it'll take us to Wayrest. And that's going to be Falvis Raram. Okay, so it's this guy here. This one, I believe, yeah, she'll take you to Somerset. This one will take you to Wayrest. So let's select him. The manifest is full. Okay, if I want to stay in the Ebonheart Pact, it'll take me to Shadowfin or Stone Falls. Okay, but we want to go to Stormhaven. Okay, so let's go to Stormhaven Haven in the Daggerfall Cog. Uh, Covenant. All right, we are now in Stormhaven. So let's take a look at our map. Okay, make sure that you see the Way Shrine on there. If it's not activated, run up, touch it. Okay, so now that we've come to Stormhaven, 
now we actually have a port. So this boat will take us to Abba's Landing. This one will take us to the Alakir Desert. And this guy will take us to Glenumbra or Rivenspire. Or we can also go to Somerset, which is an island, or Vivek City. So if we go to, say, Somerset, okay, so turn right around. I believe it's this lady here. I'll soon be very good. There's a fair wind. All right, now we're in Somerset. So remember to activate the first way shrine that's close to you. For that, for this area, it'd be right here. But I believe Shimmering, I guess that's how you say it, right here. Shimmering is already activated on the map. But activate the closest way shrine and then come back to the port. Okay, so let's go back to the port here. Let's see where this can take us. My she can take us. I'd like to leave Somerset. She'll take us back you. to the main places. Let's go back to Wayrest. Okay, so we've arrived back in uh, Stormhaven, and now we want to go to Vivek City. Now, Vivek City doesn't isn't on a navigator here. It's not on one of the navigators. It's actually this little boat right here. So we just get close to the boat, and we hit A, and we travel. All right, we've arrived in Vardenfell. So the first thing we want to do again is we want to get the closest way shrine. So this will be the Vivek City way shrine. Okay, once we get that, we're done. So now on your map, you have opened up many, many places. So now we've opened up this region. We've opened up this region. Okay. We've opened up here. And we have opened up also here. So getting around Tamriel is very, very simple. You just got to know where to start. Now, the last thing I'll show you is once you're, once you've been there for a while, and you've already got into a guild and you want to go to a specific place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my three line button. It's like the old start button. We're going to go down to social. We're going to go down to guilds. If you're already part of a guild, you can get into one of these and go into the roster and you can find out where all these people are. So all of these people are in places that I can go. So if I just say, I want to go to Oradon, okay? So I'm going to select this person. Oh, it moved on me here. I'm going to go to Oradon. Travel to player. Okay, so we're going to travel to that player. All right, so we've now arrived in Oradon. We've unlocked another place on our map. All right, so the last one would be traveling, would be under social. Okay, when you're part of a group, okay? So somebody else, hey, I need help with the world boss. Well, you haven't unlocked that area in your map. How do you get there? You say, hey, group with me. You select, when they ask for the help, you group with them. Then you come here under group. And in this map, you will actually see the same thing that we've seen in guilds, okay? So it'll be, it looks something like this, except it'll probably be one or two people, maybe just one. And then you select that person where they are. So again, you just select it, and we want to go to the Rift this time. And then you go to Travel to Player. Exact same thing. All right, so getting around Tamriel is quite easy. Um, it's not that hard. It's very simple, as long as you know how to do it. Now, one thing I want to uh, let you know is that when you recall by a group it, it will cost you money it won't cost you as much money as you can see on the top right hand side of my screen but it will cost you money so make sure you use this when you do have a little bit of cash uh gold cash and that's about it the last one i guess if you really want to count this is getting around tamriel is your horse or your mount you usually get a mount around level 10 somewhere around there i think it is and the mount you got to build it up you got to get through and uh, gain your uh, skills on your on your mount. So if I go under here, I can see that my riding speed is at 27%. My riding stamina is at 10%. And my riding capacity is at 0%. So as you go through the game, every 20 hours, you can increase your mount 
adding one of these things, and I believe it's 250 gold. So most people will put theirs into riding speed first. So do a little bit of riding speed, then add a little bit of stamina. So do riding speed, stamina, and then probably your last one will be riding capacity. So these are probably the easiest ways that you can get around Tamriel without asking for what they call a taxi. And that a taxi is just c going to someone in your group. Okay, getting around Bardenfell, I guess that's how you say it, is quite easy. What you need to do is in most of the major cities, there is a place called this is a caravan or tower, okay? So this is the first caravan or tower that you'll probably come to. So we go ahead and open it. And within that caravan or tower, there is what they call a caravaner, okay? And she takes you around on this large insect here. Okay? You don't actually get to see it, but... Okay, so now she can take me to places in Vardenfell. So she can take me to Saran, Balmora, or... Nisus or Talmara. So I let's go to Talmara, but nice. first I'll show you my map. Okay, because this map I don't have anything run out here. Go back a little bit. I have only have Nisus, Nisus right here. So what we're going to do is we will have her take us to Talmara. Okay, so let's... Alright, so now we've arrived in Talmara. Got to remember to get the Way Shrine, the closest one to you every single time. So that's very simple. Just open your map. Look around and see where the closest one is. If you don't see it on your map, run just a little bit out from where you are. And we're going to run over here to that way shrine real quick. Because I'm going to pick it up real time. Run around the corner here, I believe it is. Alright, and once we get to the way shrine, you have two options. If you want to go back and go to other places, you can go back to the caravaner. Okay, so I've got this. I can go back to where I was originally, which would be right about here. Okay, so I can jump and raise that. So if I want to go back to, uh, I don't know, Nisus, Nisus, I can do that. That's up here. I've already been up there once. Or if I want to go to another place, I can. But if we go back here, sh this one, this caravaner here, should take us to different places. Just like the caravans, just like the boats, just like the um, the navigators. And where was that one up? Is it this one here? Is this a caravaner? No, that's a gathering house. Caravaner must still be up a little bit further. Look for the big insect thing. See, it's a big tower here. And the big insect should be right there. There it is. Okay. So if we go in here, this one will take us to a different place. So the next one will be Vivek City, Molagmar. Okay, so if we go to Molagmar, right? So now we are here in Molagmar. There's the closest way shrine. Okay, so this actually helps you get through Vardenfell without having to run the whole map. You know, it, it doesn't take a long time, but running from this way shrine, picking up this way shrine, there's another way shrine here, there's another one here, all the way up to here, you know, might take you. 10 minutes on a horse, maybe even 15, if your horse isn't all the way, if you don't have all the speed on your horse. So starting out, it'll take you a long time to travel this entire map, okay? Just like on the other thing over here, traveling this entire map on a horse is just impossible, all right? So that's getting through Vardenfell. Let me know if there's another mode of transportation that I may have missed, and don't forget to subscribe to see new videos.